So, uh, I just want to let everybody know that I am coming off of some energy drink withdrawal because I tried to give it up. I am trying to give it up. Uh, and um, there were some hiccups. Come on. All right, well, okay, okay, okay. Down the drain, John. All right, all right. Put all your worries down the drain. <laughs> Come on, Joe, I'm proud of you. Look at this. What are you doing? No! You kidding me? I'm so proud of you. Yeah. You did so good today. Thanks. you After she yelled at me. I love you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I just care for your health. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. It's okay. It's, wor it's worth it. It'll be worth it. Yes. Yes, it will. I promise. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs>
uh, or a new map or character for Overwatch. We, we had mm -hmm. talked about it before. Mm -hmm. But a brand new teaser, because they like to do it in increments, yeah. <laughs> uh, have been, has been released. It's very short, so take a look. What the hell was that? <laughs> okay, so no one's quite sure, okay. so that's okay, but we're all assuming that it's the new character teased. Okay. okay. Uh, it's either some kind of robot, roly, armadillo bug type thing, uh -huh. or just a giant metal ball. <laughs> Uh, the my, metal ball is the ultimate Yeah, character. my guess is the former, but a giant metal ball would be hysterical. Yeah, like, I mean, remember the star, uh, the, the, the droids from Star Wars? Yeah, yeah. And the prequels that just, like, rolled around and then popped up and shot lasers? Like, could be like that, like, it's like... That would be kind of cool, like, they have that little force field in the front. It yeah. Could, it could be the a the good, like, field. defensive it's support. Like, like, yeah. yeah, unfortunately, uh, we won't know anything for sure mm -hmm. until Daddy Kaplan comes out and tells us. <laughs> so stay tuned for more information when we have it. Daddy Kaplan! Daddy Kaplan, please oh help my us. God. <laughs> Our savior. <laughs> Sometimes you guys send us clips and we get so happy, it's literally no lie. Yeah. I promise I checked the email this morning and freaked out. Uh, this clip was submitted by viewer Casual Bot. This is a great Paladins clip, so let's take a look. I love that you guys can send clips, by the way, of it's you guys killing it in games. Literally watch. It's just literally wrecking lives There it right is. Now. Another one. And another one. He's not eh, done yet. Eh, 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 You done goofed, son. You done goofed. You done goofed. <laughs> that was good. Thank yeah. you so much for sending in your clips. Guys, you can send your clips to uh, clips at beterrific. Yes, clips with an S. Yeah, clips with Not an S. Not just clip. clip, so clips. Clips with an S. Uh, at beterrific.com. Please send us your clips. We love it, we love it, and we get so happy when you send us them. So please, for every show, we want to have at least a few clips from you guys. From you guys, yes. yeah, because we're here to show you guys off too. Love uh, our next top highlight comes uh, from Twitch user, well, we all know this guy, mm -hmm. IDDQD, who is a wonderful uh Tracer player. Yes. Uh, great tra tracers are life fuel. Yes. We need them. We need so them. check <laughs> check out IDDQD. I love the music. <laughs> Wait, yeah, he's got some good music going on. Yeah. It's so <laughs> chill. Oh, and he, he even has time to give him a little wave off as after he hits that pulse bomb. Oh. It's like the ultimate like ha ha. Yeah. He knows. Trying to get that Zarya, but yeah. oh my god, that. Although he's smart enough to know that you shouldn't shoot at Zarya when she has the bubble up. I would hope that people know that by now. <laughs> no, they don't. Hey. You'd be surprised. <laughs> oh my gosh! When she has her dang bubble up, kids, let's not shoot at it because she gets freaking stronger. Yeah. Everyone saying hi in the chat. What's going hi. on, guys? How are you? Uh, good thirteen. Hamburglers here. He says the Droidicas. The that's Droidica, right. that's the right. Th that is the name of it. Uh, the Demon Joke Gamer is here. Hello. Oh, nerd in here Hi. as well. Everyone loving it. Um, just so you guys know, you're probably wondering why Glenn is kind of just chilling out here. I'll tell you, we'll show him off. There's Glenn. Now, Glenn is going to be given away today if we can get up to 250 viewers in here by the time the trivia question happens. So if you know people that aren't watching yet, tell them to get in here, get their butts in here. At 250, we're going to give away anyone that gets uh, the correct answer for the trivia question will be given Glenn away. If it doesn't happen today, you'll have to come back tomorrow for it. That's definitely true, guys. I mean, nope. look at him. I'm sorry. I That's just pulled okay. it away. That's okay. I don't know if I'm ready to part. I'm still not You're ready You're not ready to part. to part with it. That's I'm okay. I'm still not ready to part, so I'm just going to sit here with it. That's okay. All right, guys. <laughs> let's take a quick break, but... I just want you to know, and you guys should know this by now, we never leave you hanging here. Here is a funny clip from Metal Gear Solid to remind you to always check your surroundings before you shoot people.
Welcome back to the show. It's the Wide World of Games. I'm John Donatio, a.k.a. Some Beauty to Love. And I'm Katie McKinley, a.k.a. Gonna Shock Them. I hope that clip taught you the importance of minding your surroundings when facing <laughs> off in a sniper battle against a genetically modified super soldier. I hope so. Yeah. Could you imagine you set that up, you got the kill right it's in there, like, and this freaking seagull <laughs> flies like by fun. and yeah. totally it ruins the by. shot? That's ridiculous. I, Honestly, that poor guy. it made for such a funny clip. Yeah, like, oh yeah. He, he, there's no way that that guy didn't laugh. <laughs> How do you? All right, that, like, if, if you didn't laugh at that, you have literally no sense of humor. Yeah, that and was I, that was tough. I I, <laughs> I couldn't stop looking at it. I must have watched that a hundred times. Yeah, for sure. No. Right now, we want to show all of you. The, what happens at the PUBG Global Invitational NA qualifier? Let's take a look at the ending of this all the way out in Berlin. Take a look. Yeah. All right, so we, so we have here we have left Team Dignitas uh, and TT, and they're going at it because they're the only two teams left. There are five alive, and there's a lot of peeking, trying to get behind a lot of stuff here. All right, so now we're going in. They're going to head in. They're going in for the kills here. Team Dignitas does what it does best, and they go ham. Right here, that's one kill. Dignitas. That's how it ends. That's all that they is needed. All it was. That's all they needed. Uh, it, they, put, they threw two smokes, yeah. and then they just rushed in as a team, and it caught the guys off guard. Teamwork makes the freaking dream work, <laughs> for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. We got it here. Yeah. And they got it there. Yeah. So we should play playing PUBG with them. No. No. Okay. <laughs> no. No. I don't think it's. I, I don't think that's how it works. Correlation is not always causation. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, next up we've got a clip from Quinn Champions user Merck Wahlberg GTV. I just I that Merck username. Wahlberg. Merck I love it. Merck Wahlberg absolutely cleans house here, basically carrying his team. Let's take a look. All right. All right, so he's running in here. He gets fragged right there. He frags that person. Let's go, go, go. This is so fast paced. It's insane. It is fast paced. Oh, here we go. He gets that next gun coming up the stairwell here. He's going to turn right, right here, and then go through. And he sees someone down the corridor. And wow, what? look at that. And he gets that person. Comes through. Here's the next person. <laughs> Boom. You're done. Let's go. Right here. Boom. Wow. Okay, and he's, he's still going. He's still going. He's not done. He's underground. He's getting this next gun here. He's coming through. Look, the person comes right out. Right there, he comes up trying to get a tactical response. Gets back down. Gets <laughs> that person midair. That person is totally pissed. Their day is over. Now he sees someone else coming through the next corridor. And he's going to go after them. He's doing such a great job going really through this is. portal. And watch. <laughs> He's just, pow, pow, dude, seriously, like, that, okay, so this, I, I want to play this game so bad. It's so fast paced. It is. It, I mean, I'm a fast paced person. You, you are fast paced. I'm very intense. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> like camping. Like. Oh. You just killed it. I killed it? <laughs> Anyway, I try. But no, it's such a fast paced game that I get super excited watching it. And <laughs> I, it makes me want to play. Like, I truly enjoy watching Quake Champions yeah. gameplay because, because of it. it's so fast paced. It's not like you're sitting there and you're waiting for something to happen and someone's sneaking right. around. And someone's, it literally, it's just like boom, 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 kill, 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 frag, 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 you're done, son. Like, it's literally <laughs> all like that. And I love it is, that. It is a lot of fun. It's one of, those, it's one of those games that when Bethesda and ID kind of fixed it up. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. I got to play that at E3 mm -hmm. and I never had more fun in my entire life. It's came, definitely a Came in third. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? But still, so much fun, fast paced, whatever. Came in third, came in second oh. at Smash. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not letting this go. You oh, came hush. in third at Quake Champions. Sir, how many thousands of people are there that probably played that day? <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> All right, a P, uh, Double P says, awesome. Uh, everyone saying hi. Hello. This guy loves doing what he's doing. Katie, Sup, Mike? Hell Michael. yeah! <laughs> I got you guys before I'm off to bed. Oh, See you yay. later, Double Peach. Bye. Uh, Katie, no more Red Bull. I don't drink Red Bull. No. I'm I'm high straight off of water. She's Literally, uh, I just only drink she's water. trying to get me off the energy drinks. So, like I said, if I seem a little twitchy, I get a little sluggish. Bear with me, because I promise it's just the effects. Anyway, twitchy. next up we got a Fortnite clip that is pretty intense. Talking about intense. And uh, you're twitchy. <laughs> and I'm twitchy. You're twitchy. Yeah. Let's just say this YouTuber, Die Right, has got the skills. Woo! Okay, so 
Now, he knows that there is a team down here that got downed before he got there, but he is not giving them a chance in hell. He downs the other ones and kills a couple, and then he's going to build up here just to turn around to the side because he's getting attacked, but, yep, shotgun to the head. Oh. Now he's going to build up again. He knows people crawling around. He's just, like, making sure that he's looking for the other people. And boom, over the corner. Ah! He sees this other guy. Boom, ah! over the shoulder. Ah! He's got That's it. Got this tail. guy oh! gives up. Oh! He just gives up. He's like, no way in hell I'm getting past this guy. Are you kidding he spray me? paints the floor just to taunt everyone <laughs> and dances on their graves. I love that they like, literally just took one look at it and was like, there's no chance yeah. I'm winning again. That guy was like, dude. I'm out of here. He's like, I'm over. <laughs> I forfeit. I'm too afraid. It's time for me to go get my footy pajamas on and go suck my thumb. I'm done. I want to see that guy go against Ninja, though. I would love to see that. The guy that didn't, the guy that stayed and won, not the guy that Yeah, not, like, not the guy that left. Right. No, <laughs> well, I get that. Right away. All, right. <laughs> All right, let's cut over to uh, an amazing game of CSGO that took place over in Shanghai for the ANZ closed qualifiers. Uh, this will be between Order and Legacy. Let's roll that clip. All right, so we got this person right here, Order, uh, running through, running through, running through, running through. He's going up. He spots somebody. He spots somebody. Oh, he's somebody. down. Oh, God. Jeez. On Legacy. Legacy is, like, not having the best time. No, and Order that. really has been cleaning up yeah. on them. Or so this was a tough, this was a really look, tough look, match okay. with them. So oh, just, he's got down. Legacy coming through. He's got, oh, oh, and he's down, too. <laughs> that was it. No. That's amazing. Right. But and there's so many places to hide here. How do they, how do they even, like, find people? The whole like, team spread out around them no, and cornered them in the one room. Yeah, they were literally spread out from, yeah. from here into this room, here outside, and then to the next on the right, and they were just stuck in this little, <laughs> little room. It's needless to say that Order went on to win that round. Yeah. That was not, that was easy for them. Yeah, I, I, I mean, what? Like. Yeah, it's okay. Sometimes you have a good day and sometimes you don't. Yeah. And, and Order had a great day, and Legacy didn't. And that's okay. Legacy tried. I mean, they tried. I just, I've never <laughs> seen someone in like, the pro esports get quartered like that. Yeah. That's why I'm so like, they taken aback by it. It felt like a pack of wolves yeah. descending on a bunch of lambs. For sure, cause, because when you watch that clip initially, you're like, all right, here, the gameplay is getting going, getting going. But it's another tactical, skillful team play there yeah. where they literally all converge. And they're just like, all right, sorry, Legacy, you got nothing going on. This is our game, yes. and we're giving you no say. Uh, just saying good, good night to Double Peach. Thanks for stopping thank by. You for we know it's by. Uh, maybe a late night for some of you overseas or wherever. Uh, so thank you for coming by. You guys are uh, awesome. Ragnos are in here. Woohoo! My Woo! favorite show. Yay! Michael Arts is in there too, watching. Hello, how are you? <laughs> we love you, Michael. Yes, we do. And everyone else for yeah. follows. Yes, thank you guys so much for following. You guys give us so much support, yeah. and it oh. makes us so happy. And speaking of follow. Yes. Uh, we are going to play up a little bit. We reached over 2,000 followers, That's and so right. this wonderful person here will be dressing up in cosplay for us. That is very We're giving true. her two weeks to get a costume together because it's not easy. It's not easy. At 5,000 followers, I will get into a wrestling singlet. Yes. Uh, like a basically a one-piece bathing suit uh, for everyone to, for some reason, watch that. And uh, the chat <laughs> wanted it. That's Steelers right. You guys it. asked for it. And then at 5,001, we will have a roulette. To make sure uh, one person can win a Xbox One X. Yes. Now, which also, is pretty cool. Also, too, tonight, if we get to 250 oh, yeah. viewers, this beautiful human. I love Glenn. Anyway, <laughs> we will be giving this away at 250 viewers, guys. So let's get the ball rolling. Tell your friends. Tell their moms. Tell their moms, tell their dads, tell their sisters, tell their dogs, <laughs> tell their guinea pigs that we are live here tonight. And we are giving you the latest in esports and gaming news. That is right. Yes. Okay, listen. <laughs> we need to take a quick break. Oh. No, I know. Uh, we never like doing that, no. but we never, ever leave you hanging. That's right. So, please check out this crazy Battlefield 5 clip. Yeah, uh, it will teach you that sometimes a team, when we saw a great teamwork there, uh -huh. but sometimes a team needs a fan out just a little bit more. Uh, take a look. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, everyone. If you're just joining us, this is the wide world of games, and I'm John Donatio, a.k.a. Some Beardy to Love. And I'm Katie McKinley, a.k.a. Gonna Shock Them. And if you've been here since the beginning, welcome back. <laughs> we always like talking to you guys, uh, and we're gonna, hit, we're gonna address the chat just in a little bit. Yes. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, and uh, guys, again, like I said before break, at 250 viewers, we're giving away this wonderful Glenn figure right here for this guy right your here. viewing pleasure. Whatever you would like to do with it, yeah. put it up, just keep it in the box, collect it, what have you. We love you, and we just want to show you guys how much we love you. It's very loud. I'm very loud. I'm sorry. All right, Pete. Anyway, fighting gamers are an intense bunch. Mm -hmm. I love fighting games. As mm -hmm. I'm intense. Tonight's, I'm intense. Yeah. All right, that clip from earlier really made me realize <laughs> that I might be a little intense. That's okay. We I like just, you like that. I just care about your health. I know you do. Anyway. I know you do. Uh, you know, they're intense, they're a tense bunch, but capable of reading opponent movements and reacting quickly within a moment's notice. Uh, and that's why you can never underestimate your opponent, because even at the very end, they can turn things around on you. Just like in this clip. Okay, so we've got the Flash and Robin coming through. The Flash has literally no freaking help, but look at this. He is keeping Robin in air, not letting him touch him at all. These are like calculated, oh calculated dodges. And literally relentless and reckless, he is bringing him all the way freaking down. Now he's got this down here, but he still has to get the rest of his health. Let's see what he does. Okay, Robin's trying to like stay back just a little bit. So he's got he's those not projectiles. He so. does, he does. But and he's trying to zip back and forth to try and get the reversal on it. But it's really not working too much because the flash is really pushing through. He's <laughs> kicking him, keeping him in midair, bouncing him against the environment, getting on his last nerve, being relentless. And this is gonna be literally, yeah. Watch, watch this clash. He's got this clash. Oh my God, the clashes. This makes me I so love the freaking clash. anxious. I love the clash. I love the art. I just love everything about this game. Anyway. Oh, oh no. Oh my he's god. Critical. And he's coming and he's breaking Robin down. He's getting it. He's punching. He's punching. He's Another punching. clash. And yes, I've never seen two <laughs> clashes this quickly right after each other. And he's going to get the clash. He's going to win the clash. He's smacking him in the face. He got the attack for success. And that's 15% that brings him down. And he's getting down to Pound Town right now. And he is done. He gets the KO. He literally. What comes. did I just he, watch? He was critical at the freaking beginning of the freaking clip. Before the down, just watch? And then just freaking take shop. I'm sorry. I'm just so too much. Just too much. That was ridiculous. How does somebody do that? I don't know. But that game and that that game is one of the again, those fast paced, out of control games. It's one of my favorites. Uh, and it's been a lot of fun to watch that because I actually like playing as the Flash and mm -hmm. the Blue Beetle. Mm -hmm. And Blue Beetle's a lot of fun to play yes. as. I and really to watch the it. Flash come back and kick Robin's ass, that was fun. Yeah, Robin Robin which was just a pretty boy in that clip. <laughs> it's all you're gonna be in that clip. He was basically just juggling dead meat at that point. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Stop it! Okay, that, that was that was absolutely insane, but it also <laughs> teaches you two important lessons. Never give up, mm -hmm. and don't ever underestimate your opponent. Like in the case of our next video, where a player named Chaos Knight 56 gets to the edge of oblivion and somehow finds the will to fight back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have Kira that was knocked. We don't have Kira. That's okay. <laughs> there he there is. Go. Kira has been knocked back. Now, Chaos Knight has an inch, an inch of health. Okay, uh, but he is not about to give up, and Kira pops heat on him. It comes in blazing, but he is blocking everything. Chaos is right on a tail, giving her a seven hit combo. Ooh, ooh. Then he goes in for a seven. Uh, no, wait, never mind. It's going up to a 10. Then we got it. He's going to keep whoa, going, juggling to 19. Whoa. That's a combo that Kara will never get back from. Stopping her to the ground and then popping his ult just to say, you know what? You got nothing on me, kid. Literally got nothing. <laughs> oh my goodness, Just those combos. Going hard. Killer freaking combos. Yeah. That's all it takes sometimes. Mm -hmm. You just gotta juggle them up. You gotta hit that combo meter. Yeah. Even if you're, yeah, never give up. It adds up. It adds up. After, after a certain amount of point, depending on the, you know, the, the, the kill percentage and the damage percentage that you get based on the combos, determines really how, how much you, damage you can, you know, give out. Yeah. And those <laughs> combos matter in the end. They really do. They matter very much. Quote so. a famous movie, never give up, never surrender. Got you. <laughs>
I don't know what that's from. That's okay. I bet the chat does. What is, what is it from? Tell you me. Guys, Educate my young. You guys, my you guys tell me. Never give up. Never surrender. Yes. Next up, we have a clip from yesterday's Smite tournament where E United and Counter Logic Gaming faced off. Let's just say that Counter Logic Gaming does not like to leave survivors. Mm. Let's take a look. Okay, so we've got Panda rushing out of a storm of counters to start off. It looks like they won't be getting away. So sad here. Well, we caught to hurry chasing down Polar Bear, and Counter is so aggressive in this game. And take a look at this next one. Uh, this, 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 this score is neck to neck. Polar Bear is really trying to get out of there, but will it get out of this assault? We've got a floor view coming through right here now, right, right in the freaking drama, <laughs> right in the drama. Dodging like a crocodile is on their heels, but will it be enough? No, it's not going to be enough. But down goes the Polar Bear. Uh, it's fair game now. United's Titan is under attack, and Hurrywind is on that killing spree, as we saw. And COG is taking no prisoners. They are out for blood. Then you desperately try to protect their Titan, but they're paying no mind because that Titan is down, my friends. <laughs> down in the ground. And just to say, not having to worry about the Cerberus really, 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 really helps COG there. Yeah, no, absolutely. The that was insane. Takes a lot of damage so and gives fun. out a lot of damage. So the fact <laughs> that they took them down. They really wanted to win. Yeah. No, yeah. The, the, the last player. The last player on the opposing team was trying so hard to 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 defend their Titan the best they can, but they were literally the only person out there. And the team paid them no mind and no attention and just basically was like, yeah. goodbye, get out of your face. <laughs> this is our game. They now. showed no mercy. I'm the captain now. So that's what that was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really enjoy Smite so much. Yeah, I know it, you do. It, it's it's, it's such pretty a amazing. Game. And, and watching the pro leagues, you just get so in, into it and intense. And I love it when they do those floor shots because they usually do overview shots, and yeah. those are really cool to see because you don't normally get that perspective when you're actually playing. But when you get into the competition like that, I love seeing what the player sees. It's it's definitely above and beyond. I agree. Mm -hmm. Now, we saw that pro players show no mercy to anyone. Uh, so let's see what's going on in the chat because oh, you yeah, guys. Oh, yeah, let's do that. You guys oh, don't have to somebody to knew. Them. Somebody knew my. Yes, I want to go. <laughs> one of the chatters wanted to say hello to Arnold, and I just wanted to come on and say hello. And you know, keep your shirt on, okay? I told him you can take your shirt off in here. Hey, listen, hey. I'm trying to keep my shirt on. But hey, yeah. hey, hey. I'm in testosterone. Hell, help me! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I just wanted to know, did you get, please, no more energy drinks, okay? <laughs> you could do this if you lift the muscles. I can do this! You could do, I you can do, do this! Oh my if you, God. I can do this! If you do, if you do the energy right, you're gonna, you're gonna save the energy on the down, and then bring it on the up, ah. and then you have so much euphoria, you feel it! Ah. Feel, it. Ah. feel the burn! Feel the burn! Feel the burn! Yes, and Zach, please, Zach Efron, keep shirt on, shirt on. Everyone just yes. done. All right. Small yes. rep. Oh, no. Only arms. That's <laughs> it. Yes. Arms. All in the bicep. Yes. No legs. It's never like never day here. Yes. Oh, no. Guys, right. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in Roy. Get to the chopper. Let's I'm go. All right. Dylan, get, out, get out of here. Go to the get chopper. Get to the chopper. <laughs> get to the chopper. Oh, get out. <laughs> Guys, guys, I'm in Roy Hell right now. Yeah, uh, Ragnos are new that it was Galaxy Quest. Uh, why, why did we although have Rambo? Small Soldiers does say it, Walking Target, thank you. What? We had Rambo. Well, and, and, I did Rambo. Well, I know, we, right had, we had Rambo. We had Arnold Schwarzenegger, Chopper. Sylvester Stallone, and Zach Efron well, yeah, in the same uh, room right here. Is. Yo, we just on to read terrific TV, you know? Just you need to do the face thing where it's uh, yeah, like up yeah, like this yeah, and he's just, just like uh, Yeah, you know, we're just uh, doing the thing. You know, just, <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's see what the chat has to say. Uh, <laughs> uh, NST2 owner says, I'm the captain now. Sorry, Katie. Uh, owner, I'm the captain, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ragnosaur saying, or Ragnosaur <laughs> saying, I need a whack, or, oh no. Good, good, <laughs> good 13 was like, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see it coming either. I didn't, they came from behind me. It was an attack. It was. It was an assault. It was an assault. <laughs> Um, I, I'm fending for my life right now. That was, come on, that was fun. Anyway, was fun. <laughs> uh, just so you guys know, somebody asked about Glenn. Yeah, Glenn is sitting here because we have 250 viewers at the time of the trivia question. We're going to give this Mamma Jamma away. Yes, so tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your dog. 
tell everyone that you know that we are live here tonight on Mixer. We love yeah. you. And guys, we want to give you some love and show you some Absolutely. love. Absolutely. We, we also have over 2,000 followers. That means Katie is going to be dressing up. After we get 5,000, I'll be in a wrestling singlet. <laughs> and then 5,001, we're going to give away one Xbox One X yes. to one lucky viewer. You guys are going to be so happy at the next few weeks. Yeah, I think so. It's going to be a good time. Okay, <laughs> we are going to take a quick break, but we're not leaving you without something good to watch. That's right, John. On today's Rage Corner. We have someone trying to take on one of the hardest indie games of all time. <laughs> the impossible game. I've had a Rage Corner myself at this. It's on the yeah. internet. Go find it. We'll be right back. Uh, we aren't all just first-person shooters or fighters here, guys. Sometimes it's just as important to dance alone as it is with others. That's right, John. But sometimes the AI you choose, well, isn't always helpful. So check this out. <laughs> all right, so we're playing Skyrim. Of course. Okay. Because it's the best. Yes. And it's a great first-person. And watch what happens. <laughs> oh my god! He gets thrown. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, do you get to fulfill your mission at that point? I Yeah, because that was just a, a, a Daedra yeah. thing. But still, he'd probably start it over. So. Yeah, for sure. It's amazing. That was. Yeah. <laughs> I've had some problems when I played, you know, Skyrim. I've had some problems. Todd I've Howard had some said it was glitchy. I've had some glitches, <laughs> and especially when I started putting mods on it. <laughs> I had this one mod where I had a, a flying horse, and I had gotten frost. Uh, if you guys know, oh. that's like a whole mission. Uh, to get frost, this like ultra rare horse, and I was so happy. Frost was my love. I took Frost on all of my missions for a good portion of my gameplay for that run through. And then I put the mod on where you could make your horse fly. <laughs> and I just want, it, there's, it's clipped on my channel. Uh, I, you can't, I, I don't have Frost anymore. Oh. It's hard to talk about. Actually, one of my favorite mods for Skyrim uh, that I found was actually a super Kamehameha. Oh. 
And so it was one of the magic spells you could learn, and it was amazing. And it, it blew a dragon out of the sky <gasps> in one hit. And it was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Oh. I did it on my old channel, and I was just like, I hope somebody clipped that okay, because... Okay, so I, I need to find that. And also, <laughs> if you haven't heard, I love the mod where they make all the mud crabs sound like Zoidberg. So it's like... <laughs> <laughs> so whenever you're out there and then you see the mud crabs, it's you just knew like... That they were there. And it makes me... Because I hate crustaceans, for those of you that know. <laughs> and I've been around for a while. So it makes me feel just a tiny Why bit better. Why not Zoidberg? Zoidberg. Okay. All right, guys. This next highlight is by YouTube user Prosafia Gaming as he plays Mario Party on the 3DS. Just watch Luigi during this round and you won't be disappointed. Oh my goodness. He did really. This, there's no Waluigi here. Okay. There's not. No. That's what Luigi does. That's Luigi's. Okay. 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 You did us so well. But watch this. <laughs> Everyone is trying to fend for their lives here. Daisy is getting real. Oh, Daisy's getting super close. Oh, oh you're getting a little too close. Oh. Mario's out. Peach is out. And then there's two. Oh, here. look out, Luigi. Oh, Ooh. that was close. Yeah, Daisy's really just trying. Uh, but. I oh, mean, another one. <laughs> yeah. I love <laughs> Luigi didn't move. I love that he didn't move at all. I t so I found this video where the video title for this, for that, it, this was like the first clip of it too. Really? It was literally, the YouTube video was literally called Watch Luigi Win by Doing Absolutely Nothing. That's incredible. Uh, apparently it happens a lot. Apparently. <laughs> uh, in this series of epic moments uh, from Halo 5, watch YouTube user the IRA Godfather dominate until the end. Oh. Fan freaking tactic. Watch this. He's he's smirking people. He's doing super well. And he, you know, he's gonna reload, he's gonna come out, he's gonna see people down here, and he's gonna try and get the <laughs> offense. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Right here, and then marks himself. Oh, that's he incredible. He literally bounced off and then flew. Oh my god. I just love the way that his character's body just. Okay, well, that guy had a little bit of bad luck. A little bit. Yeah, so he let's really talk. Good. But let's talk about luck for a quick second. Okay, we, right. uh, even if uh, it, it didn't happen for that Halo player, but you know that timing in offline, uh, uh, oh, excuse me, online gaming, yes. uh, where everything just seems to go your way? Yeah. Uh, well, That's how this you know clip. Things are about to change. Yeah, this clip was submitted by Xbox user Vasi. That's V A five five I. He was dabbling in some For Honor. Luck turned the smile on him, and this happened. Take a look. Just, just watch this because Vasi is the one right there in the middle. Mm -hmm. Everyone just piles in for a good old-fashioned melee. Look at this. <laughs> Yes! And somehow, Vasi oh. comes out on top. Oh. <laughs> and he can, f he, can get he can get all his downed characters back. Tag yourself, tag yourself. I am the person that literally just fell back. <laughs> I, I just tagged myself. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm the remember, you can send us your clips at clips at beterrific.com. You can just email them. Uh, links or whatever it is that you guys have and we'll we'll pull it and show you. Uh, so if you enjoyed that clip, we actually have Vasi on the phone via Woo! Skype right now uh, to chat about video games. Hey Vasi, how are you tonight, buddy? Hey, what's up? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. we can hear you. What's up? What's going on? This is Vasi Marku. Uh, he is uh, the guy that just brought us that clip there for For Honor. Uh, yeah, tell us yeah. about that. What, what possibly went through your mind <laughs> at that particular moment because that was intense? Well, uh, I'm not the greatest for honor player by any means. So uh, my tactic is always to try and sneak in and, you know, go for the stealthy kill. But I dropped down. I was going after one guy. And then all of a sudden, you know, as the song goes, it was raining men. So I was <laughs> trying to stay back, uh, stay out of the fight. And uh, once I saw kind of all the big guys got out of the way, I, I went in for that final kill and I ended up on top. So very, very lucky. You, you were just rolling with the punches at that point. Yeah. Rolling with the punches, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, yeah, dude, that was, it just, it had me rolling, and I saw it, and I was like, all right, one, we got to talk to this yeah. guy. <laughs> Two, we got to show this, because this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm, I'm happy you're here. I'm happy you're talking about it. Um, let's talk about video games for a little bit. What do you think? Um, 
I, I mean, I love playing. Uh, right now, it's more of a uh, how much time do I have to play? Yeah, so I, I, feel I like that. to go. Mm -hmm. I like to go for the games that I can get in really quick and play a little bit and then be out. So Fortnite has been a big one. I was going to uh, ask so you like you like you're a, you're a Fortnite player then. Yeah, I mean, usually it's easy because I don't last too long, so I can pretty much pick up and put it down, and then it's always fun to get yelled by 13-year-olds. So, uh, <laughs> but you that's, win that's, once in a while, right? You get a, you got to get a one a nice. Yeah, uh, I, I win. The problem is now I'm uh, I live in an apartment building, so I like to play kind of in the morning before work, but I get really frustrated. So <laughs> the the, the uh, my neighbors think that I like yell my uh, yell at my wife and it's, like abusive. You're like they're be like playing, they're alarm, and they're like that. Like, ah! You know, <laughs> that's, that's why I'm, I'm, I haven't gotten new headphones yet, a new headset yet, because of that reason. I just moved into a new apartment too, and literally, I can't talk online because right. I know for a fact that <laughs> when I get home late at night, my neighbors are asleep. <laughs> that's so. that's the problem is those noise canceling headphones. You you sometimes don't realize your volume, mm -hmm. so I'll be screaming at like 3 a.m. and my <laughs> wife will be sleeping and like you know got to wake up in the morning so yeah. it's, it's you're, a problem you're basically it's your problem. whole apartment's alarm clock at this point mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right yeah right i get it all right um <laughs> the uh the chat says uh this dude he's a champ for sure look how buff he is all the ladies want him that's uh, the no. owner i'm not i'm not buff at all from like the waist <laughs> down you can't see but i gotta go that. <laughs> I, I, I'm the same way. I look super, super buff on top, and then uh, you know. But when you come, when you look down, when I stand up, it's not the case. See, I have this great illusion where I look fat from the head down. So that's uh... <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, all right, dude. So what are you playing right now? What's like your game to go to? Um, like Besides I said, I Fortnite. played a little Fortnite. Um, I just beat God of War. That was a great game. Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, Far Cry Five was really fun. Uh, I like the I like the one the one player uh, games okay. a lot because like I said I get my butt kicked a lot online but um that's that's <laughs> that's what I've been playing now. Do you play Do you play a lot of multiplayer at all though? Do you like dabble in that? Yeah, I mean I was big in Overwatch until I put it down for like a week and I came back and everyone was like a really really <laughs> a lot better than I was so. I always I always fall behind the curve a little bit, and then I gotta find a new game. Yeah, can, exactly. That's what play. happens. You you fall behind, and they're like, you know what? I no longer want to play this game. I'm uh -huh. gonna go play something else. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. All right. So then, what are you looking forward to in the future? E3 just happened. Anything that you saw, like you're really pumped for? Yeah. Um, I love the Assassin's Creed games. Yes. So the new Assassin's Creed looks really good. Yeah. Um, it takes place I in like Greece. New... You must be excited. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for uh, uh, Red Dead, uh, Red Dead Revolver mm -hmm. too. Redemption, Red Dead Redemption. Yes. Redemption. There you go. That, that's the one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that game looks awesome. I played the first one, so I was really excited for that. Um, I'm still on the fence about Anthem. It looks cool, but um, we'll see. We'll see how that works mm -hmm. out. All right, yeah, Ragnoser uh, says you on Xbox One. Yes, Vasi is an Xbox user, uh, but he does play PlayStation games. Uh, yeah. Do you play GTA or Mortal Kombat? Yeah, I play GTA. I played that. Uh, I had to sell it back because I just spent. My problem is I get too into games and I'll spend too much time. So I it was it was a big. That was, was a time waste for I was you. Huh? In, so. mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, Mortal Kombat I didn't play though. I got to try that one. No. Are you into fighters at all? No. Again, if I suck <laughs> at them, I I, I, don't, I don't play. Them. <laughs> it's okay. I I. I, 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 try yeah. to, I try to play things that I suck at so then maybe I feel a little bit better about myself, but at the end of the day, I go right back to the games I know I'm good at. Yeah. Right. All right, exactly. Vasi, you want to feel, feel good. You want to be, you know, you don't want to walk away pissed off every time you uh, Exactly. You play. I agree. So. Gaming is for fun and also sometimes anger. Sometimes. <laughs> right. And getting harassed by little 13-year-olds. Right, exactly. Very yeah, true. that's exactly that's true. Uh, okay, uh, one last thing before you go. Someone's asking you to flex for us. Can you flex for us? Oh no, man! I mean, listen. Come on, just one flex. No. Yeah, there we go. All right, Vasi, thanks so much for hanging out no with problem. us. No uh, problem. We appreciate the clip, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for having me, guys. All thank right, you. thank you. I can't get my thing down. <laughs> you can't get your thing down. Because my muscles are too swole. <laughs> You're super swole. There Ow. we go. I helped. Oh, elbows. Okay. <laughs> Katie. Yes, John. I have a serious question to ask what you. What is it? Uh, have you ever wanted to be a mermaid? <laughs> yes, I have. Yes. You know I have. All right, that is good because now you can. You can do it with towel tails. 
the 100% cotton wrap around your towel that gives you your very own mermaid tail. It is good to use at the pool, maxing, chilling, and relaxing at the beach, or just getting out of the bath or shower. Katie's going to show it off right now. Oh, oh. Tattle Tail makes all kinds of mermaid tail designs, but also, it's only 25 bucks. <laughs> it's 25 bucks to do, to annoy your co-host. Uh, but each of these, uh, they have all kinds of, oh, thank you. Uh, there's also shark tails and dragon tails. Uh, in case you want to, you don't want to be a mermaid, uh, you can learn more at TowelTales.com. That's T-O-W-A-L. <laughs> T-A-I-L-S dot com. That's right. Tell <laughs> Don't forget, you can watch us on your big screen to get the TV experience easily. Download the Be Terrific app on Apple TV, Roku, Android Fire TV, or Android, Amazon Fire TV or Android TV. That's right. You can also watch us on the go with your iOS or Android apps. Just go to the appropriate app store and you can download Be Terrific. We are live nightly at 9 p.m. Eastern with the Wide World of Games. Uh, live eSports is coming also as well as many other shows. So tell us what you want to see or what you might want to have on these channels because it's just as much yours as it is ours. Yes, it is. And before we head to our next break, I'll take my feedback. Okay, thank you. It's time for some trivia, guys. Uh, we didn't get to 250. Oh, that's okay. So we'll maybe try this again so tomorrow. So Glenn will have to go yeah, away. Glenn will go away until we get to 250 views. Once we get 250 views, possibly tomorrow, before Hopefully. the next trivia, we will give it away. So make sure you guys tune in and tell all your friends, and we'll pick somebody to give it away to, That's right. whoever gets it right. But for now, we've got today's trivia. Take it away, John. Okay, so Cuphead is notorious for its intense difficulty and creative bosses, and most importantly, its cartoon art style. That's right, lots of cartoons from the golden age of American animation influenced Cuphead's development, but what companies work heavily inspired the art style. Is it A, Disney, B, Warner Bros, C, Fletcher Studios, or 4, or 4, <laughs> D, Hannah Barbera? Put your answer in the chat to see if you're correct. We'll be right back on the wide world of games, so stay put right there and don't move those buttons. Question. All right, let's do it. So we got, let's see, Ragnoser saying A, a owner, D, Demon Joker, B, uh, owner again with an E, a C, an A. All right, looks like it's all over the place, but good 13 and Kevin are right. Kevin. It is actually Kevin. C, Fleshier <laughs> Studios. Now, Cuphead is known as what they call the rubber hose animation. Yes. Now, while Disney actually did that with uh, the old Mickey Mouse cartoon, Steamboat Willie. Mm -hmm. um, Fleshier actually gave him the ideas. Oh. And so Disney actually copied off that a little bit. Oh. And so it wasn't actually Disney. Oh, do that was I a trick, trick or treat question. Do I, do I foresee possible like 
drama? <laughs> drama here? No, not at all. Uh, we all love all of them, and uh, we it's like that very like old school Tex Avery and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, that that fun feel the Betty Boop you know yeah. Popeye yeah. type of. Uh, okay. animation and that's where that comes from. Alrighty, okay, yeah. I can I can deal with that. Yeah. Our final segment though, guys, of the night is a fan favorite and we have some pretty amazing content tonight. Are you ready, John? Uh, of course I am. That's, uh, it's time for Streamer, Streamer Spotlight! Spotlight! Alright! Alright! So anyway, uh, you guys, our first streamer of the night is Twitch user Trainwrex TV. And before we roll this clip, I have to say that you might want to protect your eyes for this one. It gets pretty hot in that kitchen. Please don't try this at home. Mm. Oh, oh my God! Oh, get this oh, my hot sauce my oh. Oh. Oh, 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 blank, you idiot! I love that he opened his eye so it, you know it poured in just a little bit more. That's I, tough. Have you ever gotten hot sauce in your eye, John? Uh, no, but I used to eat tacos on the toilet. <laughs> just saying. I have, so my, my, my stepmother brought home from New Orleans Louisiana Asperger sauce. That's what it was called. It's literally on your thing is that Asperger sauce. And so, you know, 15-year-old me is just like, I, I mean, I love spicy things. I put hot sauce on everything. And... 15 year old me was like, oh my goodness, I want some of this hot sauce. I'm so excited. And I went to go take it and like put it on my finger to eat it. I was like, this is great. Me, not oh, me. Oh no, did smart, you pour a whole bunch of stuff? Spilled it on my hand. Oh no, and you touched your eye, didn't you? And forgot to wash my hands. Oh no! My stepmother's running around the house. My eye, my entire eye, my eyes are blue, but my entire eyes were so beat oh, red. No. I missed her particular eye and I couldn't see anything out of it for like a good two hours. My stepmother was running back and forth. My dad wasn't home. She's calling him like, Sean! Sean Katie's got hot sauce in her eye! I don't know oh what my to God. do! Do I take her to the hospital? It was a whole time, but oh I was fine. God. I'm still I'm still able to say No, it. it's okay. Uh, chat was uh, going crazy on the uh, on the trivia question there. And before that, we uh, we loved Vasi. Thank you for coming by. Yes, thank uh, you. They were talking about the gun show there. The gun uh, show. We were all there. We got water guns. We got big bazookas. We got all kinds of stuff. Did you call my arms water guns? No, I was talking about that's what Vasi said in the chat. Oh, all right. Yeah. I was about to say. I was, I was talking to, to you. I, I was, was saying your bazookas. I was about to square up. So your, to you got bazooka up. arms. <laughs> my bazooka. Um, yeah, so, uh, okay, they loved the uh, little taco on the toilet joke, so that was fun. <laughs> Uh, but you guys are great. You guys keep up the chat. You guys are the best. We love all of you. Thank you guys so much. Uh, this next clip was streamed by a Twitch user, Humbasa? I think that's how you say it. Anyway, he, he they were. Hiyosama. Hiyosama. Oh, okay, there it is. Uh, as he rides the mystery machine on max speed. Take a look. Okay, so it's not quite the mystery machine I was looking for. Maximum speed. This is. Number you know what I thought it was at first? I thought it was one of those kids rides. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's like an in-store like like ab workout machine oh, that actually okay. does it for you. Oh, you don't have to do much. Band. I see the band. Yeah, so you okay. kind of hold on to it and gotcha. he wants maximum speed. Maximum speed. I just it's not the mystery machine I wanted, but... No. I th when I thought mystery machine, I was thinking it was going to be from Scooby. Like Scoob, let's head over to GNC. Exactly. Like, I mean, Scooby's not getting his freaking, you know, protein powder in this place. This is just some guy deciding that he wants to record himself while chilling in this, whatever this place is. I'm not sure. I mean, he looks like he's having a good time, though. And yeah. maybe his abs are getting worked out. I don't know how that machine works. Yeah, I don't either. No. <laughs> now, for... The kids in the background watching, though, were kind of funny. Oh, are, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of looking at this man like, why is this grown man chilling on this thing while recording himself? What kind of weird stuff is this? Yeah, that's some fetish, fetishizing things right there. I just, I can't. That's, that's where okay. my first thought goes through. Anyway, now for an artsy clip. Let's turn the tables. Okay. Uh, brought to you by Mixer Streamer Zod95 with two Ds. Uh, check this one out. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It, yeah. It's a different type of art style than what we've seen before. That's true. Uh, and it looks super cool, but 
look at the difference here, right? So the bottom left quarter, it's like the you know how they do it on the emojis on the iPhones, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the bottom left corner. Oh, that's you got like a him. lion. That's yeah, like him. That's him, and, and it, whenever he speaks, the lion's mouth moves. That's him drawing right now. That's literally him sitting there oh, wow. looking down, and he's drawing his art. Uh, that, he's, yeah. That's it, pretty cool. It, it, when he stops to talk to the crowd, you know, he'll pop up, and it's a literal lion. And like his fig, like his face comes up yeah. and it's like and lying it and it's like rah, rah, rah. And his eyes blink and stuff like that but Ooh. it's more synchronized than the emojis which yeah. is really odd i've never seen that before so i thought it was super interesting yeah that's cool mm -hmm. i like that yeah our final clip though of the day is from twitch user ear rob 221 might make you a little hungry though uh, but probably not too hungry just to watch this dude down this watermelon <laughs> i know i will i love watermelon so much Dude, but he's making a mess. Boy. Oh, wait. there must be, is there seeds, I assume? Yeah, there's seeds. But you, you can still eat the seeds. It's not bad to eat the seeds. But he's putting his whole face <laughs> in that. Oh, my God. He wrecked that thing. He's, he's, this he's, is like, this, he, the sound is like, yeah. Uh, he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's putting, he's putting. This is like working. That. He's putting in that work. But he looks, the, he looks he's, drunk off of the yeah. watermelon. He does. <laughs> he looks drunk off the watermelon. He definitely either, does. Either they, like, made him do that and eat an entire watermelon in one. Because it can be heavy because the watermelon is all water. Yeah. So, you know, if you eat a good sized watermelon, you're going to be super full. I can only eat like half of a watermelon <laughs> on my own, you know, just munching on it. So, you know, he might, he just looked like he was defeated at that point. He yeah, he definitely looked tired. And that watermelon gave him uh, the one, too. Yeah, definitely. He, he, he tried. <laughs> he tried. He really did. He did. <laughs> all right, guys. It's almost that time again where we bring the show to a close. But before we do, Sad let's face. turn back to the chat and see what yeah. you wonderful humans have been up to. Yeah, let's see what's going on. We got Ragnoser saying awesome and laughing, uh, and that's hard to create, gotta be. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, I so would not and Please get off that person when we were on the guy that was... Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah. That was, yeah, that was a little, that was a little uh, Owner says that's on the iPhone X, that little uh, thing where you can really? do the little icon. I've, oh, I saw the emojis when, when it first came out, yeah. and the, the, there were Twitters of the emojis and them making them do music and sounds and stuff. And I thought yeah. that was so cool, but I'd never seen one like that. And it was really, really, really different to see on stream. Um, yeah, Ragno, they're also saying, did you see the kids? Yeah. We've got uh, <laughs> Demon Joker Gaming saying, that is awesome, and I have been playing Pokemon MMO today. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Like time. Uh, e free Sith Lord Sport said, I thought he was no. going to vomit. Yeah, that's cool. what I thought. I thought that was coming too. He looked, he looked like that guy at a frat party that literally just took a, a you know, a uh, Jaeger bomb and <laughs> is walking out, but he's taken like 12, it's shots around the world in the frat house for Rush. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally been there, done that. It literally looks like that scenario. And yeah. it's right before they open up the, the, the house for everyone to come in for the party for the yeah. entire college. And this guy's already over and it's only 8 o'clock. E uh, E3, 4x4, please don't stop the stream. I know, I know you don't want us to stop. <sighs> but luckily, if you just came at the end here, you get to rewatch it. We're yes, going to we'll replay it for it. you. We'll replay um, it. But, you know, it happens. We but we love you guys and we. Uh, and we uh, we we got a got a thanks yeah we we thank you for coming in yes thank you guys so much you guys are absolutely yeah. wonderful uh, you know and 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 guys please continue to send us your clips uh, send your clips of your best gameplay to uh, clips at beterrific.com we had some cool ones today please continue to send us them we love them I just want to give in a reminder and we should also remind them about our stretch goals oh yeah totally we go let's do it yes so. We made it to 2,000 followers, guys. Yeah, 2,050 means, right now. Yeah, we're at 2,050, which means that I get in cosplay for one of our streams. It'll be in about two weeks because I have to get it assembled. Yes. But it will be for you guys, and I'm really excited to do it. But also, once we get to 5,000 followers, guys, John, this wonderful human, will be in a singlet <laughs> while, while hosting. And once we get to 5,001 followers, we are going to random generate... Uh, to our followers, and whoever it lands on gets a Xbox One X. Yeah, so one lucky winner will get yes. an Xbox X from us here mm -hmm. at Be Terrific TV from the wide world of games. That's who we are. Yes. And that's what we like to do for you guys. Uh, we're just having some fun here. Uh, real quick, back in the chat. Um, oh, and we're all having fun. We all love you. Thank you, J the Demon Joker. You guys are great. Thank um, you, guys. Yeah, oh look goodness. at all that stuff. Look at hour, all that love. An hour goes quick. It does. It, it doesn't feel like it up here. We ran through our first segment, and we were like, 
15 minutes yeah. already? How did that even happen? Yeah. And we're just, guys, we have so much fun, and that's why it goes by so fast. And we're we so do. excited every single day to bring you a new show and hang out with you guys. Yeah, if you guys missed the opening bit, too, you're going to have to watch that because yeah. that was fun. Yeah, and um, you better not be on any more energy drinks, I swear to freaking God. I'm just saying, you know, I might feel sluggish a little bit. Don't John? look on the screen. John. John. Well, guys, that does it for us edition of the Wide World of the Games. Uh, thank you so much for hanging with us tonight. Uh, it's always a pleasure. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no, John. What the heck did I tell you? We love you guys. Uh, we really do. This has been the Wide World of the Games. Yeah. I'm Katie McKinley, a.k.a. Go to Shock Them. And I'm John Donatio, a.k.a. Some Beardy to Love. Join us tomorrow at 9 p.m. for the latest in esports. It's water. In gaming, yes. it is water. Cheers. Go play some games. Come on. All right, okay, okay, okay. Down the drain, John. All right, all right. Put all your worries down the drain. Come on. <laughs> Joe, I'm proud of you. Look at this. What are you doing? What are you... No! You kidding me? So, uh, I just want to let everybody know that I am coming off of some energy drink withdrawal because I tried to give it up. I'm trying to give it up. Uh, and um, there were some hiccups. Come on. Okay, okay, okay.